Good morning, grade 6. How are you, my dear students? Today, inshallah, we will finish unit 14, Ratio and Proportion. Lesson 14.3, Using Direct Proportion. You can follow this in your course book, page 140 and 141. Our objectives today use direct proportion in context, solve simple problems involving ratio and direct proportion. Before we start, I want from you to remember what's a ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two or more numbers or quantities. We have here now this question. Which ratio shows the ratio of three butterflies to one apple? What do you think? Three butterflies to one apple. Do you think the answer is A or B or C or D or E? We have three butterflies and one apple. Which letter represents this ratio? Yes, excellent, it's D. D represents the ratio of three to one. Remember when we said there is a three ways to write a ratio. For example here, the ratio of three boys to five girls can be written as I three to five or I can use the colon but I can we will read it same three to five or by using the fractions also three to five. After we remember what's the meaning of ratio and how to write ratios, now we will start our lesson, proportion. Now, what do we mean by a proportion? A proportion is an equation that says one ratio is equal to another. What does this mean? Before I explain this, I want from you to remember what's the meaning of equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction are two fractions, two or more fractions are equal. What's the meaning are equal? That means these two fractions have the same value. Look at these two fractions, half and five after ten. These two fractions are equivalent fractions because 1 is half of 2 and 5 is half of 10. So these two fractions have the same value but different numbers. This is what we mean by equivalent fraction. Now imagine that we have one student in your class. This student read one book in two days. So he read one book in two days. I write it as a ratio, but I use a fraction term. But what if our students read books at the same rate for 10 days? One book in two days. Then in 10 days, he will finish five books, right? As you can see, one book in two days and five books in ten days, these two ratios are equivalent ratios. Just like equivalent fraction, they represent the same amount. So we can put an equal sign between them. When we do that, we have proportion. Now you understand what's the meaning of proportion? Two ratios are equivalent or equal. A proportion is just two ratios are equivalent or equal. And one thing is really important 
that two ratios to be equivalent they not have to have same value only they also have to have same unit for example here book one book and here five books two days and ten days so the units should be same this is what is the meaning of proportion direct proportion what's the meaning of direct proportion two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion when their ratio stays the same as the quantities increase or decrease what is this meaning remember the students he reads one book in two days and then he reads five books in ten days right look at the ratio here the ratio is same right because one to two and five to ten after we simplify it also it become one to two so the ratio are stay the same even if the number of books are increased and the number of days increased but the ratio stays the same this is we name it direct proportion to understand more let's solve this example three books cost twelve dollars what is the cost of ten books i have three books cost three twelve dollars and i want to find the cost of ten books how i will find the cost of ten books first i will write it as a ratio 3 to 12 that means the three books cost 12 dollar 10 to n n represent the num the value of the money of 10 books so now i have to find the value of n these two are proportion so there is two ways to find the value of n first method is unitary method what is this unitary method i will find the value the cost of one book then i will multiply it by 10 to find the value of 10 books how i will divide 12 dollars divide by 3 because i bought three books right equals four dollar four dollar is the cost of one book now i know that one book i can buy it with four dollars if i want to buy 10 books so i will multiply 10 multiply 4 equal 40 dollars so the price of 10 books is 40 dollars this is the first way now i will use the second method the second method calculate based on ratio how i write a ratio as a fraction then i will make this is the number of books and this is the cost what i will do i will do cross multiplication i will multiply 3 by n and equals 10 by 12 after that 3 multiply n equals 3 n 10 multiply 12 equals 120 after i found this this is equation right how i will solve it 3 both i will divide it on 3 so 3 n divide by 3 equals n 120 divide by 3 equals 40 dollar so n equals 40 dollar again what is the first thing we do write write the frac the ratio as a fraction then multiply cross multiplication then divide so we have three steps to do it write the ratio as fraction then make 
cross multiplication, then divide, then find the value of unknown. So again, what is the three steps? Yes, write the ratio as a fraction, then multi make cross multiplication, then divide. Now we have this question from your course book, page 141. Question number seven. Both paid $65 for 10 hours work. How much does she earn when she works for A, five hours, B, 15 hours? To solve this question, I will solve it in two ways. The first way is unitary method. What's the meaning of unitary method? That means I will find how much she earns in one hour, then I will multiply it by five, then I multiply it by 15. How? She earns $65 if she works 10 hours. So what I will do, I will divide $65 divide by 10. Uh, the answer is $6.5. So she earns in one hour 6.5. So to find in five hours, how what I will do? I will multiply 6.5 multiply 5 equals $32.50. Okay, in 15, what I will do? Yes, I will multiply 6.5 multiply 15 equals $97.50. Now we will solve it in the second way. I will solve A first. What I will do first, write it as a ratio. So 65 to 10 equals n to 5 because we don't know how much she how does she how much does she earn when she works for five hours after we write it as a ratio we will make a cross multiplication 65 multiply 5 equals 10 multiplies n 325 equals 10 n after i am finished Cross multiplication, I will divide both sides on 10. So what I will have here, 32.50 equals N. So N, that means she earns in 5 hours $32.50. Let's solve B here. Same method. We write it as a ratio, then we make a cross multiplication, 65 multiply 15 equals 10 multiply n, 975 equals 10 n, divide both sides by 10, I got 97.50 equals n, so in 15 hours she earns 97.50 dollar so now let's remember together what is the steps the first step write it as a ratio the second step multiply make a cross multiplication the third step make division and find the answer thank you and good luck